I'm here with Melbourne United assistant coach and NBL legend Daryl McDonald. Um, Darren, Daryl, uh, welcome back to the podcast. Uh, it's fantastic um, to get a chance to chat with you. I mean, what a game it was tonight. I'm um, getting the 89 to 84 win over the New Zealand Breakers in the Blitz. Uh, yeah, it's a good hit out for us. Yeah. <laughs> you know, for first game opportunity to play against somebody different. Um, mm-hmm. Started off slow, yep. you know. In the first half, uh, first half was a tough one for both teams. I think we, you know, we did a did a better job. That our third quarter was probably the one that won the game. Yep. Defensively, like, defensively, we did a great job of just getting getting multiple stops, mm-hmm. you know. And Big Joe, Joe Big was, Joe, thirty seven yeah, points. Yeah, that was he, he was unbelievable. Mm-hmm. So, how do you go about as a former point guard yourself, bringing in someone like Matthew Dellavedova to the group, and then how do you go about? organizing him into a spot um, and, you know, sort of working around him with plays and things like that? Uh, Del- again, you, you, you bring him after Del- Del- yeah. you bring him after Del- 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 Yeah. Like this guy, <laughs> you know, he's been in the NBA. You know, he's been He's won a championship. He's been in the finals. He's going to come in and, and, and find his way. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? No matter what we do, he, he, he just fits in. Yep. He's smart. Do you know defensively? Like, defensively, he gets after it. Mm-hmm. You know, IQ is, is is off the charts. Yeah. And so no matter no matter what stuff we do, whether it's offensively or defensively, he's gonna find his way. Yeah. And, he, and you know, like he's been good. Like he's been good for the group. You know, he come, comes in, he works works his behind off every day, and that's what you want, especially from your point guard. And for me, I think that's where that's where everything starts. So yeah. whether it's on the defensive end, whether it's on the offensive end, it all starts with your point guard. Um, you mentioned Big Joe Lawala Chul before 37 points to the, uh, for the game. What are your what's your perspective on him? You know, coming into this season, no Jock Landau. You know, he's going to take a greater step up, starting hopefully um, every game. Uh, he's different, man. Yeah. Like for what he can do at it, you know, at his size, he can put the ball on the floor. You know, he's shooting the ball well. He's got such but that great attitude. Like he's just a, you know, he has, he's just a mismatch. Yeah. You know what I mean? And like you said, with Jock with Jock going. With Jock going his minutes goes up. Mm-hmm. You know he's gonna get extended minutes this year, and he, you know, we we gonna we we gonna put a lot into him. Like he's gonna the ball is gonna go to him a fair bit, mm-hmm. and you know with his with his ability to score and, and, and finish around the basket, you know, he, I think he, I think this is a, this is gonna be a good year for him. You know, I mean, you, know, you just gotta you know when the adjustments come, you just gotta be able to make them. So when someone like Caleb Agata comes in scoring, I think it was twenty six points or so against the U.S. Um, we didn't see a whole lot of him tonight and what he can display. What's he been like at training? Uh, he's been good. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing, like, you know, his first game. Yeah. Know, coming into a new league. And, yeah. You know, I think he's just got to, he's got to, again, it's about adjustments. Like, yeah. He's got to make adjustments to the league and the way the refs call, mm-hmm. call the games. But I think, I, think he, I think he'll be fine. You know, he's got that, he's got that one game. Yeah. He'll let that one go. But, he, you know, he did. He made plays when we needed him. You know, he found Chris for two, three balls and things like that. And I guess for impo- for imports coming in, yeah. it's always that, you know, do I, do I feel like I have to score all the time? And mm-hmm. But what he does well is he, he just makes plays. So he, mm-hmm. he's a good decision maker. And I think the scoring the scoring side is going to come. I think yeah. we're going to need, you know, I think we're going to need somebody else to put the ball in the hole. Mm-hmm. Can we expect Joe to get 37 a game? I don't know. Yeah. Like, you know <laughs> like, as much as we would love yeah. that. <laughs> We're going to need somebody else to put the ball in the hole for us. Um, Chris Golding, I mean, I heard him on the court and his communication with the group, you know, really guiding him um, yeah. as a leader and a role model. Um, what's it like to have someone like him at the court, uh, at the club, who um, is pretty much a coach on court, you know? He's, like, he, like he is what Melbourne United embodies. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, everything we do, you know, a lot of what we do, mm-hmm. like, he just embodies that. Yeah. He's, you know, he's just become our captain, and mm-hmm. you can. And his leadership is is is, is big. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And he's going to carry that all year. Like he, you know, he's won a couple of championships in his yeah. league in Melbourne United, so you know, he knows how to rest, call the games, and, and, and things like that. And he's a, he's another one. Like this is a, again, I'll just go back to being this being our first game, mm. playing against another team. We 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 know what we're gonna get. We know what we're gonna get from Chris. Yeah. I'll put it like that. Yeah. yeah. You know you know what you're gonna get from him every game, and mm-hmm. that's what that's what we expect of him. So how are you approaching this season personally, um, as a coach on the sidelines? 
uh, still, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm there, I'm learning, you know, I'm still, you know, I give my input here and there, and, and I think a lot of it for me is, is uh, you know, development of our players and, yep. you know, helping guys get better every day. And, you know, what I, what I see during games, you know, I, like I said, I, I throw in my little two cents here and there, and, and then go from there. So the other day you got your championship ring um, presented to you by the group. <laughs> what was that like to you know, was, get the ring? That was awesome. Yeah. Like, I was like, that, uh, I'll see COO, uh, mm-hmm. Boyd, he told, he told me last year, he said, don't worry about it, everybody's going to get one. Yeah. <laughs> so I was pretty, you know, I was pretty happy. But when they did it that day, like, we were, I, we didn't, nobody, knew what to, mm-hmm. nobody knew what to expect. So it was, pre- it was pretty cool getting it, you know, just added to the, to the collection. Yeah, All right. <laughs> oh, to the, add a, uh, another ring to the trophy cabinet. Exactly. Uh, thanks, Daryl, for coming on today and, you know, putting aside some of your time up, uh, post games to come and have a chat. No problem, man. Always, always, Max. Oh, thanks, Daryl. Speak always. soon. All right, man.